the fragrant smell of a freshly cleaned floor. That lovely smell of citrus fruits or fields of lavender. But where do those aromas come from? Aroma chemicals called terpenoids are released when we use cleaning products, as well as perfumes and other fragranced items in our homes. And whilst they can smell pleasant, they're also very reactive. In fact, scientists are only just starting to gain an understanding of the chemistry that happens when we use them. There are numerous sources of pollution in a typical building, and cleaning is just one of many activities that contribute to it. There are also pollutant emissions associated with cooking, candle burning, air freshener use and wood stove use. Even furnishings like sofas and carpets can lead to emissions of pollutants indoors and scientists are investigating what leads to high concentrations of these and, more importantly, what we can do about it. The terpenoids give cleaning products their range of amazing aromas. Limonene and citral provide the characteristic smell in lemons, for instance. Pinene derives from pine trees, whilst linalool provides the scent of lavender. It's possible to buy cleaning products with all sorts of different aromas added. However, we also know that terpenoids react rapidly with an outdoor pollutant called ozone, which can enter houses through windows and doors. These reactions can form harmful species such as formaldehyde and particulate matter. We are studying the indoor air chemistry that follows cleaning in our impeccable study at the University of York in the UK, which investigates the impacts of cooking and cleaning on indoor air quality towards healthy buildings for the future. One of the sophisticated instruments we use for these measurements is called a SIFT MS, which uses a technique called mass spectrometry to identify the molecular mass of the chemical species emitted when we clean. By combining this information with carefully calibrated standards, we can identify the concentrations in the air during and after cleaning. We use this information to calculate typical emission rates, which we use to drive detailed indoor air quality models. These models then provide us with additional insight into the chemical processing indoors, such as the formation of stealth pollutants, ones we're currently unable to see, as we have no way to routinely measure them, but that may be harmful to human health. We've looked at emissions from a range of different cleaning products, surface, bathroom and floor detergents. We also investigated products marketed as natural or green. There's a widely held perception that these so-called natural products must be better for our health than the more typical commercial products, or even that they don't contain chemicals at all. However, the natural products often contain the same chemicals as the more traditional cleaning products. In fact, our experiments show that with the exception of the surface cleaners we tested, terpenoid emissions were higher from the cleaning products marketed as natural compared to the more traditional brands. So, how can you minimise your exposure to pollutants from cleaning? Ventilate. Always open the window when cleaning. This will also remove moisture. You could also use an extractor fan. Never mix different cleaning products and always follow the manufacturer's instructions regarding how much product to use. Choose liquid cleaners over spray products, as the latter deliver the cleaning product in the form of small aerosols, which can travel into the lungs more easily. Choose unscented cleaning products where possible. In the summer, clean early in the day if possible. Outdoor, and hence indoor, ozone concentrations are lower then, so chemical reaction rates and formation of harmful products from cleaning will be slower. Remember, before you reach for that cleaner, reach for the window and always read the label.